Hi, today we're making the Virago Apple Thyme, and that's spelt with a Y, like this delicious herb that we'll be using for garnishing later. We start with a double, that's 50ml, of Virago non-alcoholic spirit, always a great start to any non-alcoholic cocktail. To that we're going to add 50ml of apple juice. Um, I'm using cloudy apple juice. I think it's uh, a bit of a nicer taste, not quite as sweet, and uh, feels like it's better for you, whether it is or not is another thing. Uh, half a lime, we're going to squeeze that in there. Here we go. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of honey. Now, it's quite chilly at the moment, so the honey is a little bit globby. This is from our own bees, the Barago bees. Use another spoon just to help splodge that in there. Here we go. And to this, I'm going to add just a pinch of cinnamon. So you don't want to overdo the cinnamon, so we're just going to do a little pinch of it. Um, it's very easy to overpower a drink with cinnamon because it's quite a strong flavour. So we're going to shake that, but we're going to shake it first off without any ice. And this is really important because the honey is a little bit cold and if you put ice in here it will just set like a rock. So you can see the honey on the end here. We're giving it a really good shake. Oops, reposition it a little. And we're going to keep shaking this until the honey has dissolved nicely into the cocktail. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And now we're going to do a second shake, um, but we're going to add some ice. This is going to chill the drink for us. More like it. And what we want to get here is condensation on the can. So. Once you get some condensation, you know the drink's nice and cold. That should do the trick. And our honey is all in one lovely liquid. If you don't put the honey in first, you'll end up with a big thick lump and it'll strain out. So you'll lose the sweetness, which will change the balance of the drink. Straining that in there, using our lovely Burago strainer, which is always a joy to play with. A little bit of ice goes into the drink. And the next ingredient is some apple matchsticks. So this is fresh apple, we've taken a few slices, about half an apple, sliced them in both directions so you get these little matchsticky bits. These are great because they add a tang, some acidity, the real flavour of apple which you get from proper apples rather than from the juice. Just going to stir those all together in here. I'm going to garnish it with the thyme that we talked about earlier. And because we're Barago and they're still in season, we can use one of our beautiful little borage flowers. Pop that in there. Cheers. Mm. And that's delicious.